As the Apostle Paul said to the unruly and contentious Corinthians, if any of you thinks you know anything, you have not yet known as you ought to know. Input minus output equals accumulation. That's fundamental physics, whether with a material or energy balance. The greenhouse effect decreases the output because it traps energy that is re-radiated to space from Earth, and since the input remains the same there is a positive accumulation of thermal energy on planet Earth. Thus far the compensatory mechanisms, including ice melting, oceans acting as a heat sink, and the inertial lag in delta T due to the large heat capacity of planet Earth have moderated the actual climactic temperature changes that we have observed. That said, we have continued to set new records for world temperature with each year, almost consistently with a monotonically upward trend. The problem is this, at some point, all of the ice will melt and the oceans will start to heat up. At that point, the albedo reflectivity of the Earth will also have decreased, resulting in even less heat loss, and the temperature will rise even more quickly because the compensatory buffers will be overcome. As temperature warms, permafrost will thaw, releasing large amounts of sequestered carbon dioxide and methane which have been there since the last ice age. We have seen that even minor changes in temperature cause disruption of weather patterns, with much more to come. As the ocean Atlantic and Pacific surface waters continue to warm, they become even more potent heat engines, driving more and larger tropical storms. That, combined with rising sea levels, does not portend well for the large concentrations of cities, wealth, and human beings near the coasts. There is also a series of warm and cold water currents that distribute heat pretty efficiently around the globe. We don't know whether those might be interrupted with vast amounts of freshwater going into the oceans, or with persistent warming of the oceans. It's a crapshoot. These currents are responsible for the temperate climate of Northern Europe including the UK, for example. There are vast amounts of carbon, methane, sequestered in the permafrost and in the deep oceans in the form of a semi-frozen matrix. Will global warning release these? It certainly will on land. We just don't know about the deep oceans however. Over hundreds of millions of years of geologic history, planet Earth has gone from greenhouse Earth to icebox Earth and many variations in between, and these are mediated by factors that alter as a fundamental input, output heat balance for planet Earth. The amount of energy involved to actually heat this planet is almost incomprehensible, and the amount of heat accumulation is impressive. And the problem is, once we set in motion a positive feedback loop with these immense amounts of energy involved, there's no good way to put the toothpaste back in the tube.